Uh, when we started uh, this backyard farming uh, journey, uh, it was kind of uh, a challenge for us. But we decided, one of the reasons why we decided to start backyard animal farming and because we see the need for us to be able to save money, we see the need for us to be able to eat something that is healthy, and we see the need for us to be able to uh, to see the need for us to be able to know where our meats are coming from. And this has really given us uh, the zeal and the enthusiasm and the reason for us to continue even when we feel like we want to give up. So when it comes to backyard farming, uh, there are some things that I want to explain to those that are planning to start or that have already started because this will really help you to keep on going even when you want to quit and when you want to stop. First of all, you need determination. That is the first thing that will help you. You know, having a farm in your backyard does not mean that you will be a successful backyard farmer or you will be able to do it. Because a lot of people, they, you know, they start, but they didn't have that determination to continue because there, there will be times when you will be sick, there will be times when the, you know, the desire to do it will not be there. So once you have determined, you know, to keep on going because you want to know the source of where your food, your, where your foods are coming from, you want to heal healthy and you want to save money. So all these reasons will help your determinations to be firm. And that is why you need determination. Another thing I come to realize is the devotion. Because every day I have to wake up in the morning by 8 o'clock, feed the animals, you know, feed them, clean their poops. For example, for our rabbit, we clean, I mean, we clean their poops. Uh, and then also we I put water for, you know, uh, for the animals. Uh, so many things that you know you have to do so it takes determination and also not only determination if you do not devote your time or if you do not set apart a time you will not be able to take care of this animal you know successfully so i have seen a lot of people when they start they quit because they do not have determination and they do not have the devotion to what they are doing just like a football player uh, or a football fan is determined to watch his football team whenever they are playing. I'm an Arsenal to watch Arsenal play. The same thing with your backyard farming. You know, you must be devoted. You must be a devoted backyard farmer. And that is the only way success can be guaranteed. And another thing that you will need as time goes on is the company of other backyard farmers now in our community we have so many people uh they may not be raising animals but you know they may be raising uh they may be growing crops so we have so many backyard farmers around us people that are raising crops you know people that are raising uh potato cassava and all these people you know we talk about it we we get together we talk about it we encourage our uh, one another because that is the only way so backyard farming is, is here to stay. And I've seen a lot of people going into backyard farming. Whether you are doing your backyard for commercial purpose and you are doing it for your personal purpose, uh, all these things are very important. And a lot of people also, you know, there are times, you know, one of the reasons that I love, you know, raising animals, because there are times that you just don't have money and you need to eat meat. You just go to your backyard. One time my wife was craving for you know for rabbit meat and i just decided hey let me just go and look for one rabbit and i, I slaughtered the rabbit and our needs i mean our need was met what if we don't have money and she was craving for rabbit meat you know how do you think i would be able to get that so backyard farming is great it's profitable and it is something that everyone can do all what it takes determination and devotion at your backyard and let me warn you this is one of the most uh, uh, most watch out for in, as a backyard farm because a lot of times when you say I have a backyard, 
a lot of people have farm in their backyard but if you get there their farm is nothing to write about it's so messed up because they are not devoted to it so devotion is one of the things that will really help you as a backyard farmer i hope you enjoy uh this uh video today you know i have so many videos if you want to talk, talk about catfish i mean i have a whole playlist on catfish uh, i raise catfish and also uh, rabbit i have different videos on rabbit and many other things that you know you, you need so check them out check the playlist and check whatever and share with other people so that they can also be able to learn from from the video all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you have not subscribed you are watching for the first time you are not subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing i love to see you god bless you